but we're outside the Taoiseach's office here anyway and um, he's uh, above in the doll. We would love to have met him today and hand him the um, issues that are facing the, is the industry um, because they are serious issues. They are ones that we are hoping our Taoiseach, and it will take our Taoiseach to go to Europe and talk to the leaders of Europe and fight for a fair share of the fish that we have inhabiting our water. The new EU ruling of weighing fish from boats is impractical, unreasonable and will affect the quality of our fish. Since April, fish can no longer be transported from the quayside without first being weighed in an uncontrolled temperature environment where we are expected and the crew are expected to de-ice the fish, weigh the catch, re-ice the fish, and before it is sent to the factory. And political parties had better listen that it has to be, that has to go from the Common Fisheries Policy next year. It is an honour for us to be here, and I have to thank the South and West for organising this. Uh, I know Greg there spoke very eloquently about about the common fisheries policy and the renegotiation. I just want to say one thing about it. We start this common fisheries policy renegotiation with a clean slate. And they came down here today to support the, the, the South and West fishermen in their uh, show and tell event in Cork City here. They have a great display of oats behind us here. Unbelievable what this industry is expected to take and look at the, the people here today, calm, cool demeanor, want to make sure that our message is received. It was really nice to see all the trawlers coming behind the Ronan Ross and it was um, heart lifting and encouraging to see everybody standing together. Um, I did feel quite emotional and sad though um, I lost um, we lost our trawler two months ago the Eliov and um, I couldn't help but think that she should have been there today with the rest of the fleet um, it's hard to know where I'm supposed to go from here whether I'll get to reinvest and buy a boat again but that by the looks of things now the way the industry is now it, it's highly unlikely um, there's not enough quota for Irish trawlers there's plenty of fish in the waters but um, the Irish trawlers aren't allowed to catch them um, if we if we catch over our quota then we're detained and arrested and there's a court case and we have to pay a fine and then penalty points were recently introduced and we would get penalty points on our fishing license as well um, so the quotas that we have they're very small compared to the other EU countries they get quite large quotas um, it's it's hard and it's frustrating for the Irish trawlers to see um, because a lot of the time in Castletown Bear like with the Eliov we would have landed beside a, a Spanish or a French trawler and we'd watch them take as much fish off the boat as they wanted they could, they could catch what they wanted and you knew that they were making a large profit and uh, that their crew were going to be happy and that they're going to be able to pay their bills but um, with the Eliov we our quota wasn't high enough we weren't a, we weren't allowed to catch the fish that we needed to pay our bills and right now we still owe money to suppliers and to the banks and obviously we don't have the boat now to help us earn money and it really is so frustrating because I know that if we were a, a French or Spanish registered trawler that we wouldn't have those debts because we would have been able to 
the, to pay our bills and um, so that's really why I am here today that I just want to back the fishermen and women and the boat owners and I still support them and I still want to see a future in the fishing industry for Ireland.